We're joined by Wayne State fencer Zuzana Sobchak. You're a senior from Poland. Let's start with that. How did you end up at Wayne State? Um, I did very well during the World Championships and I started talking with foreign coaches and at some point Coach Jersey contacted me and we talked and then he just recruited me for the fencing team. How's your experience at Wayne State and actually just all of Detroit been for you? It was really good. Like I like being here. I don't like the weather, but besides that, it's everything is fine. I mean, I like my team. Uh, Coach Jersey is great, so I have a lot of opportunities to develop as a fencer, as a student athlete. So it's very good experience. From a cultural standpoint, are there any things in the area that remind you of home, or at least give you a feeling that you're not that far away? I think that the longer I am here, the more I understand that I am far away from home. <laughs> so, your, your specialty is foil, but you have competed in all three. Yeah, but it's just for fun. So, like, as a professional fencer, I am good only at foil. But other weapon, it's, I just wanted to try. And you've had pretty good honors. You've been multiple times honorable mention, All-American, and you're also academically honored th through the GLIAC, through the school and everything else, and you're on the Student Athletic Advisory Committee. You've really taken all that very seriously as well. Yeah, I feel that sport teaches you a lot of things, especially time management, so it's much easier to combine everything, like sport, education, all extra activities. And being involved in the athletic community here, it's, it's making me being like proud of who I am and like if I can help other people or other athletes or be, you know, as an example for them, it's great. And, you know, you, I'm, I keep going and like I want to like develop. You're a civil engineering major. You're going to graduate pretty soon. Yeah. What are your plans afterwards? So I'm going to graduate in May, and I'm thinking about doing master's degree. So I don't want to go to work because I don't know if I am ready. <laughs> I think that I would like to specialize more like in engineering field. So hopefully I'm going to stay at Wayne State, and uh, maybe I'm going to become an assistant coach. Who knows? You know. But I would like to be still involved in fencing and in the academic environment. Now let's talk about something that uh, away from Wayne State and is a little bit worldwide. You've got some Olympic background. Actually the last two Olympics you've been a part of not as a competitor but you were there. Yeah so I went to volunteer to London in 2012 and it was my first experience with the Olympics and la I mean last summer I went to Rio de Janeiro and I was volunteering again. So yeah, I had some experience, not like as a, an athlete, but I did some volunteering. And being around the Olympics in general, and specifically the fencing part of the Olympics, does that get you thinking that maybe down the road you might want to try and qualify for the Polish national team? Yes, the Olympics, like, it's a really inspiring thing. So, like, when I got back, I was like, oh, no, I need to, like, practice. I need to, like, do more. I need to, like, get better. And seeing so many, like, athletes and what is happening during the Olympics, Everything is possible, and I don't know if it's possible for me to qualify for the Olympics when I am in the States because I don't practice with the national team and I cannot go for all of the competition, but who knows, maybe like, you know, after my graduation, maybe I shouldn't stay and do master, maybe I should go home. Yeah. Well, now, Olympics are in your family history. Your mom was a two-time Olympian and your dad was in three of them and has a couple of medals at home. Yeah, so they both went for a couple of Olympics. My dad won bronze medal in Barcelona and silver in Atlanta. So, yeah, my brother and I, we were just sent to the fencing school and all of my like family members are fencers. Th does that give you maybe a little more motivation to try to do that, especially when you can sit at home and look at a couple of medals? I don't know if they're laying around or if they're hidden, but obviously you've seen them. Does that maybe make you think, hey, I kind of want to be a part of that? When I was younger, I didn't think that it was a big deal. But the older I am, like, I just know that they put like, so much effort like, to succeed. And it's really helpful to have parents who used to fence and like, used to be an athletes because they, they push me, like, you can do this, you know, you, know, you need to practice, you know, be confident, you know. Yeah, I would assume that growing up, mom and dad were in the Olympics, maybe that's just something normal to you. You don't really appreciate what they did. You see the medals laying around. That's just something that's normal. But when you actually got to be at the Olympics in London and in Rio de Janeiro and see what goes into it and see how competitive it is, did that make you appreciate what your mom and dad accomplished even more? 
Yes, for sure. Like when I went to the Olympics, I saw how much effort the athletes put to like get something to like win the, this medal. So being part of the Olympics, even as a volunteer, made me think that my parents put a lot of effort and dedication to achieve what they achieved. And you see, hey, surprises can happen if you just get yourself that opportunity anything can happen in the Olympics. Yeah, it's one day and you need to put everything what you have and they, there were a lot of surprises during the Olympics so you never know what can happen. Now that's down the road, in the meantime you've still got a senior season to wrap up and graduation. What are your goals athletically and academically for the rest of your Wayne State career as a competitive fencer? So we start NCAA season in January. We are going to have uh, a few dual meets so uh, the goal for, my, for this season is to qualify for NCAA championships and to be at least in top eight in the country. With school, like, you know, I'm going to graduate and hopefully I'm going to be accepted for a gra graduate program and yeah, and later on, I've, hopefully I'm going to be a successful engineer. <laughs> Last question, what do you tell a student from Europe who's a fencer and is looking at colleges in the United States and starts thinking about Wayne State. What do you tell them about Wayne State University in Midtown Detroit? It might make them want to be a part of this. So, uh, first of all, like I say, that it's really nice that you can combine education and sport in the States because you have fencing schedule and then you adjust your classes to this schedule. So, sport can be a priority. But people like many times ask me like, oh, so how is Detroit? Like, how, how is it? And I'm like, it's, it's getting better and it's a nice city and you have a lot of things to do. So Wayne State as a school like helped me to develop as an athlete and uh, student and I can do both things. I can do m many more things. And so I think that like being a student in the United States helped me combine all of my hobbies. Hey, Susanna, thank you so much. Best of luck for the remainder of your Wayne State career. Thank you so much.